Welcome to the following presentation of the Dozen Trivia Competition by Barstool Sports. Is Carl. it Crime Dog, Fred and Griff? Well, <laughs> Jesus, how in the hell? The Hungers are your champions. Unbelievable. You don't even know California! The movie's called Get Fucked. Oh, 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 yes! of the dozen of Town All right, it's the dozen match. <clears throat> 303 match. 89 of season three of the dozen and it is the i guess playing to get into the regular season championship what a week That's we've had this is the third match of the week That's very this... questionable. questionable i mean it's, it's, it's just how it is it's just how it is what you how think? it okay. is i mean okay. you had one team have the greatest regular season in history now they got to be in a play-in game to get okay okay so here's what we did the the same teams were basically consistently top six all year round Except for Uptown Balls, they, oh, yeah. Uptown Balls kind of jumped in and out. Um, we only are giving every team in the top six one shot at the crown. If the baddies beat you, they'll have that shot. Except for the experts, you're the only team that'll have two shots at the crown because you technically didn't have a straight up challenge. You played at the live events. ZD decided they did not want a shot at the crown. Dave said no. The team that's won the regular season titles never won the tournament. Zero and two. Frank Etz. He said, we don't want it. Just seat us. We just we don't want to be number one. So th- that's okay. So that's a that's a if anything, that's a mild bias. But before we get at any of that, Brandon Walker is currently on right now. He is playing. Brandon was initially offered two options. He could either vacate all possibilities to be voted for MVP mm-hmm. and be on first team all dozen, or he could be suspended for the first six rounds of the bonus race. Brandon chose to be suspended. Until last week, Brandon said, I'm a team guy, so therefore Brandon will not be up for the MVP vote, and he is going to be vacating his first team all dozen slot. You would have been first team all dozen, you're not going to be first team all dozen. Okay, all right, now let's lay it out there, because at first I thought your conditions were ridiculous, and they were. You're going mad, you were a dictator, and that's fine. Okay, what are you doing? Yo, Patty, mute yourself. But actually, <laughs> I came to the realization that this so is not he's a getting game. a fight with his dog. <laughs> I had to do the team thing because the expert that's the expert's way, so that's what we're doing. Thank you, Brandon. That's Thank our way. That's how, we, that's how we built this team. Thank you, Brandon. Yeah. Um, also, Jeff, I mean, if you go based off resume, you gotta be kidding yourself that we're not in the tournament. I'll be just kidding yourself. What do you mean not in the tournament? You're in the tournament. You said play-in the- game. Play-in game play to play for the regular season regular title. Regular season championship. Oh, whatever. Whatever it is. Oh, whatever come on. That's, Jeff, no, you're, no, Jeff's got nine new rules every week. Me. I can't keep track of those. You're going to Somebody play for the regular season game. title. The winner Kim of Jong this Jeff. match will play the Yak. Uh, we talked about it on the first match of the week. We incorrectly gave the Honkers the win two weeks ago. Unfortunately, we used kilometers on one of the questions the yak would have won we've already discussed this this is the third match of the week regardless the yak is the number one ranked team they will take on the winner of this match uh which is the baddies brandon patty has gotten so into brandon's head we haven't even started yet he's sucking on straw now he can, he can have a drink what can he not drink something he can drink i know what's What's up, fam? I don't know what you just TJ, said. TJ, TJ, you've produced Brandon in many things. Would it give you a satisfying uh, feeling to defeat Brandon today? Of course. I mean, he said himself, he had a win-win situation where if he took the suspension, if we beat them with him suspended, he could have called it a fraud victory. And if we lost to them and he was just suspended, we would be the frauds. So now he's setting himself up to look like the ultimate idiot if he unsuspends himself and still loses and doesn't get to play for the regular season title. That's not how we think on the experts, TJ. <laughs> and also, it makes you look like a weak commissioner, Jeff, to let him flip-flop his decision. I think he, we should go back people, to the suspension. I, I suspended him. People were mad. I See, that's why I, I can read Brandon like a book. People knew that they're like, you suspended him. You should have stripped him of those those individual accolades. People know Brandon so well, it's disgusting. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> 
Last match of the week. <laughs> Three more matches in the dozen after this. Next week, there's only going to be two matches. You will see Swamp Ass for Smock and Swamp Ass trying to get in, and Chicago against the Misfits. Chicago might have bombed themselves out of the tournament. They'll be taking on the Misfits. Those out of that group, probably only going to be one or two teams getting in the tournament. I would probably guess potentially just one. And then on May 16th, you will see the regular season title between the winner of this match and the Yak, followed immediately by the selection special as we reveal the bracket for the Dozen Trivia Tournament 3. Here we go. 24 questions, 12 rounds of trivia, 25th being the bonus round. Experts, you are the higher ranked team. You're number three, you're 10, three and 0. Baddies, you're number six, you're five, one and 0. Experts always choose to go first, however, unlike every other team in the dozen. So they will go first every time. Three lifelines, go up any category you want, except for round 10. That's worth two points. Uh, and then the other two lifelines are call a friend in your double sip, presented by Big Deal Brewing. Shout out to Biz and Big Deal Brewing. Crack that golden ale watching the dozen. Or, uh, the NHL playoffs, best best playoffs in sports. Uh, here we go. You can pair those together, can't pair those on a niche category round or anything worth two. Uh, first category is Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball. This is for the experts. All right. Second, just change my window here. This White Sox infielder was the only AL Central player to launch thirty or more home runs each season from two thousand four through two thousand seven. For the experts, 35 seconds. I don't know anything about the White Sox. Oh, they had that fat closer. Yeah. He asked a lot of White Sox questions, I feel like. <clears throat> what, what? No, I think it's. I think I got. I got a guess. Yeah, okay, I can in. just throw it out there. Okay, I have a guess, but that was he's later too. Five, four, three. Paul Canerco. Final. Yeah. That is correct. One to nothing. Good job, Brandon. Lucky bastard. <laughs> we lucky over me, Brandon. Okay. He said lucky. Oh, lucky. Oh. Other side to make you, it one to one. This Reds outfielder was the only NL Central player to launch forty or more home runs each season from two thousand four through two thousand seven. For the bat. Um, this, this I done you, guess, please. But he kind of played first base too. Was that was Adam Don a left fielder at one point? He could have moved. Later, I the only other guess I have would be Jay Bruce, but I think it's too early for him. I don't think he hit 40 homers that much. I think it would be Adam Dunn, would be my only guess. Final answer, Joe. That is correct. One to one, TJ. Bro. Might I ask you to can you, you mind pulling a little closer your mic? Just a, just a hair. Thank you, sir. Uh, so Jeff, we'd like to double celebrity no, mashup no. next category. The experts will double yet again 17 and 0 on this category. In the regular season, name the two celebrities mashed up in this photo for a three to one early lead. <laughs> so we got Michael Keaton, right? Yep. And I want to say Olivia Wilde's jawline. Okay. You want to say that or you're saying that? I. I Jeff loves to Jeff loves to play with the hair. I'm going to go Michael Key and Olivia Wilde. Final answer. That is correct. Good job. Friends so humble. We'll see you exactly what that category. was. I guess regular season title if they win here, but we're going up to that. 18 and 0. Other side to make it 3 to 2. Double off the board for the experts. Once again, you successfully they have not missed a double all year long. Name the two celebrities. Baddies. That's what's his face in the middle, um, little finger. Think so? Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was Edward Norton. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I do, Blaze, I could call somebody for this. I have a phone call set up. Uh, do you think they would know who that woman is? Probably. This better not be Gia. I, I was thinking like Natalie Portman or something. I know it's like gay Pat. Um... The thing is, like, 
She'll def they'll definitely know they're it. They're gonna get it. So Need do something you call? soon in. If you think they definitely will know it and you've told them that you're gonna call them. I'm gonna it. call Gia. You Ram. son of a bitch, TJ. I, I don't know if she'll I don't know if she'll know it. They're gonna call Gia. <laughs> Technically TJ is Don't say me does not phone a fan. Look at you, I don't think she'll manager know. It. Versus the sister. That's going to be a very interesting thing with the tournament. There's been a lot more bad blood. I'm not going to help people out lately. I'm I don't. I don't know if if calling a coworker, especially in the tournament, is going to be a smart move when we get to. He's not answering. Thank you, Gia. That's what I'm thinking. Solid, solid move by Gia. Good sister. He's an expert, kinda. Did not All answer. <laughs> Did not answer. Ten seconds. I actually know that she's busy right now. <laughs> <sighs> Fran got her busy. I'm saying go, Natalie Portman. So I'm like... Five. Players, who's the guy? Four. Edward Norton. Edward Norton. Edward Norton, Natalie Portman, final answer. Tell him, Fran. I, I, I'll be honest. I The outside is hard, but I think it's Katie Holmes. Wow. Okay. Ed Norton, Katie Holmes. Final answer. Oh. I'm not getting. That is Daisy Ridley. That is Daisy Ridley. Oh. Who the fuck? That? What the hell is That's Natalie Portman. That's, that's, not that's, not that's, that's, that's just Daisy Natalie Portman. Ridley. That's Natalie Portman. What's she famous for? No. Jo Star Jeff Wars. loves Three Star Wars. Three of the highest movies of all time. Jeff loves Star Wars, guys. Should have known. Vlad, Jeff, you're the sausage. <laughs> Should have stayed in the <laughs> Star Wars category with Natalie Portman. <laughs> Three to one, but the experts don't steal it. Fuck. Fran still remains perfect, by the way. We only count on their own questions. Hands <laughs> out there. Is, is NBA next category. What? what? Is Blaze just not going to be on camera? He is on, on camera. Right for you. We can see him. Oh, I can't you're, see him. That's weird. Walker House Internet. Scroll down. I see everybody else. <laughs> Here we go. Experts. This is NBA. This is where Vanderbilt Center had a great 2015 playoffs for the Warriors, but a disastrous game seven of the 2016 hey, final, helping the Cavs win the title. Vanderbilt Center. Oh, man. It's not Bogut, is it? No. Is it Festus Azili? Yeah, yeah, that sounds familiar. I think it's Festus Azili. That's my guess. Do it. <clears throat> Final answer. Four to one. Good job, Bren. Yeah, you could have played us without me. <laughs> Four to two. You chose not to. This magic rookie guard from Western Kentucky blew a potential game-winning alley-oop layup in game two of the 2009 NBA Finals against the Lakers. Infamously. I don't really remember that finals. I'm trying to think of anyone I know who went to Western Kentucky. Cavs were not in those finals. The only player, I, like guard, I can think of on that team is Nelson. Say it again. Well, he went to he went to St. Joe's. Um, like was I don't know Raymond Felton maybe, but I don't Andy think he was, I don't, I'm just throwing Five. out a name. Yeah, I have no idea. Three, Raymond Felton. Just say one. Courtney Lee, final answer. Five to Brandon's one expert. That's correct. Stop, Brandon. Next category is music. Music. This is for the experts. Music. Brent, what was the name of the forward on that team? Um, not you know, Turkaloo. Not oh. Turkaloo. Rashard Lewis. His name's escaping me. It Rashard wasn't McCants. Yeah, yeah, Rashard Lewis. That's what I was thinking of. Okay, that's the name that was burning in my head. Okay. Next lyrics is 2003 song. 2003 song. Okay. Couldn't hold me back. They're going to rip it off. Taking that. Time right behind my back. I don't know. I never heard that song. I don't know this. This is all you've never. Tea. I know uh, the Brent, song. I know the song, but I do not know. Of course, know the I've heard it, but I don't know the words. Okay. Go ahead. You say it. They play. They play before that one school. That one. That one college uses it before their games. You want to hey, play, play it again? Time. Yeah, yeah. Run it back. Run it back, Jeff. Time right behind. Taking their time. Taking their time. Can we just say taking their time, or is it the entire thing? 
I assume it's I, a time. I, I can't really do much. I, I'd either. imagine it's more than one word. I okay. So this is going to fuck us because I'm sure I'm like <laughs> screwing one word up. Taking their time right behind my back is what I'm thinking. Taking their time right behind my back, Jeff. Final answer. Six there you go, PFT. That was an easy one, man. That was nerve wracking. Yeah, but we seven nation armor. Yeah, yeah. The, it's yeah. Other side. 2015 song. She told me don't worry don't about, worry it. about, it. about, about it. it. Yeah, don't worry about it. She told me don't worry about it. She told me don't worry. She told no me more. don't worry about it. Yeah. Final answer. Okay. TJ, you got to try to speak more into your mic. I just can't hear you. I heard that, though. Six to two. That is correct. A lot of time okay. left, and your double still on the board. Next category college hoops. College hoops. And you want to double, double baddies? He's we'll here. double. <laughs> Let's double. This is, TJ's not up, not up with the jokes today from Brandon. Here we go. This is for the experts. Shane Behannon was the most outstanding player of his region for this at the time Big East Final Four team in the 2012 tournament. Reminder, at the time just means they were there in that year. They might still be in that conference. They might not be, but we have to cover it blanket for college sports. Okay. Um, they may still be in the Big East, but they may not be. It just has to cover was in that work. Big East. Louisville was in that Big East, right? Yeah, I think it's West Virginia. Okay. I know they made a Final Four somewhere in that era. I don't remember Shane behind it at all. But I think it's. I would have remembered him if he was on Louisville. Um, well, Louisville won the national title the next year. I don't know if they made the Final Four two years in a row. Um, I'm okay. With, I'm okay with West Virginia if no, you West are. West Virginia. Kentucky won this one. I don't remember who they beat. Um, Maybe it was West Virginia. Yeah, if we're going to go uh, West Virginia final answer. You're a cunt. Um, I guess that's it could time be time to off. I don't Not think it was Marquette. Like I don't, I don't think it was Louisville, but it might be worth a guess. I know Kentucky beat Kansas in the final. Could be. I don't think UConn made it because they made it in eleven and fourteen. Wouldn't. Wouldn't mean St. John's. Four. Three. Oh, Louisville. Louisville. Final answer. Six to three. That's a steal and correct. Big one for bad. I should have double sipped. Probably should have. Yep. That's me. I That's thought you were right with West Virginia but until you say Kentucky won the finals because I think they beat Kentucky to get to the final four that one. Hey, Brad, get on, get on what we dogs do. To make it. Six to oh, four. Travis Trice was the most outstanding player of his region for this at the time Big Ten Final Four team, the 2015 oh, tournament. Disconnecting. Hush. Battery, 85%. Just roll. Um, <laughs> dogs, <laughs> Patty's dogs fucking him. <laughs> <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> I'm going to say Michigan State. Um, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't remember. It was Duke State. versus Wisconsin in the Final Four. Travis Trice was not on Wisconsin. I want to say Michigan State. But uh, hold on. Let me just take the full time. It would have been whoever Duke beat because Wisconsin beat Kentucky. I'm fine with that, with saying that. If you're confident he wasn't on Wisconsin. Yeah, he wasn't. Michigan State, final answer. Six to four. Good job, bro. <sighs> Damn, I should have double said Next I'm category sorry. is movies. Movies next category. This is for the experts. This 2013 David O. Russell dark comedy crime film went 0 for 10 at the Oscars with an ensemble including Bradley Cooper and Louis C.K. Is that American Hustle? I like it. I, I yeah, I think so. I think that is. Yeah. Over I don't 10 have is any, tough. I don't have another um, guess. I remember it. I remember it not getting Oscars when they thought it probably would. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't. I don't specifically remember Louis C.K. in American I don't Hustle, either. but I, but but I could definitely see him being in that movie. It's been a long time since I've seen it. Probably ten years. Yeah. Uh, final answer: American Hustle. Seven to four, big first half for the expert due to that one miss, but to make it seven to five. Other side. 
This 2014 Wes Anderson dramedy got an Oscars Best Picture nomination with an ensemble including Ray Fiennes and Saoirse Ronan. Um, double sip available for the baddies. Call a friend and double sip available for the experts. Oh, the baddies have double up, but they're not going to use it here. Um, I have two. Patty, you got anything? Um, I don't know who either of these actors are. I know who Ray Fiennes is. Who, what, what else is he in? He's in in Bruges. He's Voldemort as well, isn't he? I think it might be Grand Budapest Hotel. Was yeah. that? Oh, Anderson? trust. Is that the dancing one? No. Well, okay, I mean, yeah, go with it. Final What's answer, the other enough. one you were thinking? Oh, don't say it if you don't. Okay, final, TJ? Yeah. 75, yes. Grand Budapest Hotel. Yes, TJ. Good job. Bonus round time. Two-point lead for the experts. It could be tied up after this, or it could be a four-point lead for the experts. Get your pens and paper out. It's showdown bonus round time. Time to make the donuts. Showdown bonus round time. The Bays have not done yet done this yet this year. This is how this works. Uh, it this. is a first team to three points gets two points. It's a closest guess battle. Brandon and TJ will determine the order. Everybody has to go at least once. If we're tied up after three rounds, anybody can go after that. If you get an answer spot on, you get two points. Either going to be tied up or to be harder point. because we haven't gotten a normal bonus round once in the last thirty. Yeah, matches. that's that's probably true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This true. is not this. Yeah. Here we go. Closest okay. guess. You can go over. You can go over. Brandon, Don't we want to have the else is up because. What's it called? Didn't Ron get taken a point off something? Yeah, you cannot. Yeah, that's a good point. You cannot chat with your teammates about the answer. You have to be my, on your uh, own. My leadoff hitter is PFT. All right. TJ, okay. who do you want? Uh, Blaze. Okay. PFT versus Blaze. Here's your question. Here's your question. Days since La La Land was misannounced as Oscar Best Picture winner. Days. Days okay. since La La Land was misannounced as Oscar's Best Picture winner. PFT will reveal first, and then Blaze. PFT, reveal your answer in three, two, one. 1,825 days. Good guess, good guess. Blaze. I said 1,900. Ooh. 1,825. Blaze was lo longer by, what is that, 75 days? The correct answer, 2,254. Baddies have a one nothing lead. That's a long time. Brandon, who do you want All next? Right. Fran, bats number yep. two. TJ, who Patty, do you want next? Patty, you got it. Go ahead, fuck it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here's your question. Duration <coughs> in seconds for the Gwen Stefani song, Holla Back Girl. Duration in seconds for the Gwen Stefani song, Holla Back Girl. Patty versus Fran. <clears throat> Durations in seconds for Hollaback Girl. <clears throat> One nothing baddies. If you get it exactly a two, baddies could win here if Patty gets a spot on. Fran reveal in three, two, one. 195. 195 Good seconds. Answer. Patty. 225. 225. Correct answer. 199. Ooh, Ran yes. off by four seconds. Tied up one to one. Brandon. Right, Come on, now TJ. It's PFT versus TJ. No, it's me. No, Brandon. Oh, PFT, oh, TJ versus Brandon. Excuse me. TJ versus PFW. Brandon. PFW. Yes. TJ versus Brandon. <laughs> Times the word scrubs is said in TLC song, No Scrubs. Times the word scrubs is said in TLC song, No Scrubs. Damn. 
If you get it dead on, you win. Plain and simple. Uh, one mm, to one. <laughs> Need your answer in five, four, three, two, one. Brandon. 32. 32. TJ. 23. 23. The correct answer. 31. Brandon was off by oh, one. Nice, Brandon. Brandon nice, Brandon. Brandon. was off by one. Two to one experts. Brandon, who do you want to have go? Where do you go? Brandon, who do you want to have go next? All right. PFT, knock him out. Yeah, let's TJ, go. TJ, who do you want to have go next? Blaze. PFT versus Blaze. The person that gets this, if experts get this, they win. Baddies <laughs> get this dead on, you win. Launch price of the Sega Dreamcast. Launch price of the Sega Dreamcast. Brandon, <laughs> Brandon is beside himself. And I knew that was going to be a potential one that Brandon could have. And I knew he might know it. But that's the luck of the draw. That's the DJ luck of the draw. Fatty, you get it dead on. You get two points. Experts, you win. It doesn't matter. Either way. It's the launch of what, Jeff? The Sega Dreamcast. Sega Dreamcast. Sega. Answer from PFT. Reveal. I have two hundred nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. I did two forty nine ninety nine. The correct answer is one hundred and ninety nine dollars and ninety nine cents. PFT. I fucking crossed it out. Oh my god! That's, that Can we give him that answer, Jeff? No, it's not. He crossed That's it out. Good. I want to give he it to him. Lose the bonus no. round if you did that. He would have got it dead on. No, oh, on. Jeff, he already changed his score. He already changed his score. So I tried. I tried to uh, give it to you. That's I'm brutal. sorry. Easy fucking helmet. That's brutal. I tried. <laughs> wow. That's oh brutal. Oh my god. All right, four point lead for the experts, but the baddies. You have your double. Your uh, your double up. Don't forget. I that. was I was certain there was two ninety nine ninety nine as well. I think. Oh I got so yeah, I could I could tell. <laughs> I think I got screwed back then on price. Yeah. College football. <laughs> this is for the experts. College football. Brandon? Up by double. you can't double. Uh baddies, would you want to double yes or no? Change the rules on. No. Okay. This is for the experts to make it ten to five. This North Carolina state wide receiver led the ACC in receiving yards in both two thousand two and two thousand three before becoming a Jets fourth round pick. Is that Jericho Cotchery? It could be. I'm trying to think who else was on the Jets back then. Lavernius Coles was on the Jets. All I'm telling you is Jericho Cotchery went to NC State and then Okay, okay, then you're right. Yeah. Then you're right. I'm just I'm just naming other guys. You're right. You see what you're gonna do, Jeff. Go, Brandon. <laughs> That's the final answer. That is correct. That has been the problem round for you guys all year round. You do that and then you talk yourselves out of it. To make it ten to six. This freshman running back won Pac Ten Offensive Player of the Year at Oregon State in two thousand eight and was later a Falcons fifth round pick for the Baddies. <clears throat> You have your double sip. Experts have double sip and call a friend. Mm, just thinking of Falcons running backs. Brandon, I got this one. I do too. I just want to say I got it first, though. <laughs> I don't have a fucking clue about these American sports. <laughs> Fran knows more than me about this. Of his best friend, Ryan. Trying to. A scrub is a guy that thinks he's fine, but he's also known as a buster. What plays you got anything? Not he's really, no. In. Five. Devontae Freeman, but it's not it's not it. Three. Final answer. Just go with it. To quiz Rogers. <sighs> Jack quiz my pants, the fa the famous fantasy football team. Eleven to five, six five. point lead for the experts, five. pulling away a little bit. Baddies have their double still. Next category is television. Television. Good job, PFT. <laughs> Television. Do you want to double baddies? I assume not. It's not been. PFT, you want to double this one or you want to wait? Oh my Let's God. wait. Let's make it 12 to 5. This sitcom about a small time thief whose good fortune quickly turns after losing a lotto ticket ran from 2005 through 2009 on NBC. My name is Earl. Is it? Yep. Yep. Right? That's it. Yep. Yeah. Credit to Brandon. He got yep. it. Uh -huh. You gotta be, that's I not how this works. I do not know this, so go, Brandon. Yeah, it's my name is Earl. Final. Final. 
12 to 5. Other side to make it 12 to 6. Keep it at arm's length. With a star sort of female ensemble cast, his dramedy mystery show set in the town of Fairview ran from 2004 to 2012 on ABC. Desperate Housewives was on. Yeah. Desperate Housewives. Final answer. I can even sit my water. 12 to 6. That is correct. Those were the two easiest TV questions you've ever had. (laughs) Should have doubled. Yeah, we should Uh, have to. Snacks and candy. Do you want to double this? You think so, TJ? I feel like this is our best shot. Sure. Scopes and candy doubled up for the baddies. This is for the <clears throat> experts. This molded gelato is made with different flavors and layers, usually containing candied fruits and nuts. Uh, would that be hmm, made with different flavors and layers? Stracciatella. No, no. That's Stracciatella just a flavor. Is, yeah. Is this like a brand that he's asking for? No, it's a type of. The type of food? Oh, it's molded yeah. gelato. Because I think stracciatella means yeah. layers. They should, they should, by the way, they should say they both have a they, – they should say Italian, by the way. They both do have a country. I just didn't put this in the question. Okay, this Italian yeah. gelato is made with different – okay. Italian gelato. Because normally stracciatella is just like, like a – It's like chocolate, a chocolate, right? Chocolate chip. Yeah, it's like chocolate ribbon. I don't know, man. I'm too into this. I, I love. I feel gelato. like I should know this, and I don't oh, know what it know. is. Ten seconds. Is it banana pudding? Mm. Candied fruits and nuts. Like a fruit cake, tutti frutti. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> say, say the thing you said. Because tutti frutti means all Two. fruits, right? Stracciatella. I don't even know. Uh, is uh, like, I was thinking frozen yogurt, but like, yeah, I don't. This this is yeah. It's not like a mold, like a semi fredo or something. So like one of those like ice cream bars, like a Dove bar, like one of those. Like, I think it's just like a general. Yeah, it's no brands, no, yeah. no specific. It's like a menu item. Five, four. Three. I don't know. Any guess you got? Semi Fredo, Jeff. Final answer. Spumoni. It's Spumoni. Spumoni. Uh, the fuck? I've huh? never heard of that. Other side, they make it 12 day to make it a four point lead. We're two points. Did you These know that? almond flavored Italian American cookies are typically found in three layers with a chocolate you know topping and raspberry is? jam. Oh, shoot. My mom's in the room. I could have used her as my call a friend. That was stupid. <laughs> three layers. I I feel like I've had these. I just don't know if like I didn't realize they had a specific name other than just those cookies. I mean, is that what you call them? Neapolitan, the maybe. Uh, well, yeah, you know the Italian cookies with the raspberry jam in the middle. I'm, I just think of a cannoli. I think it's something Italian American dessert. Uh-huh. I don't think it's a cannoli. fucking cannoli. <laughs> Could it be like? I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm thinking Neapolitan ice cream, but three yeah. layers. Chocolate. Are your, are your dog still fucking? Grass no, he's, he's lying on the floor. Now we have it. I'll do a flip this round. That's a she? Five. Four. Neapolitan. Final answer. Well, that is, of course, PFT. <laughs> Uh, I, I was going to say is either, which is another bad one on me because I like these cookies. Jeff, can we phone a friend on on a steal? I know. Yeah. Now I really wish I. T- I'd really wish I. My mom goes. Oh, I don't know the question. How did I answer that? Yeah, my mom's in the next room. I bet she knows too. Can we, you should be allowed to ask your mom at, at any time. Yeah, I know. Three. I don't know it. Two. We don't have a guess. Just Scotty. There's rainbow cookies. Rainbow cookies. Well, that oh, seems that's... like they're all stupid. Rainbow cook. Clem is screaming oh. watching this. Niche category uh, time. Cosby Rainbow- show. They don't have that. They don't have that. Oh, the UK, lads, wait so a second. Stupid. That is stupid. I actually did know that too. I thought I Rainbow Cookies was like the green one, like the green and the red. The cake. Yeah, three layers. Three, three layers. layers. Jam. Top and a raspberry jam. Three Those layers. Yeah. Three layers right. was I. I was not yeah. thinking three layers. Well, I'm useless on that question. So Blaze and CJ have just fucked that one up royally. <laughs> I don't think I've ever yeah. had a rainbow cookie. 
with three points yeah, down, yeah. with three points down, each category time. Time. with a point down. They're absolutely delicious. If the experts and get this, if the experts get this, the match is over. We obviously will continue the match. Seeding is very important. Baddies are going to be in a fight for a top four or five seed. Here we go. For the win, though, Cosby Show, Cosby Show for the experts. What Come on, is rapist. <laughs> Lad, he's a nonce, lad. You can't be asking baddies, questions about baddies, it. Baddies, UFC, UFC. This is for the experts for the win. UFC when, has a problematic shit, too. Okay. When Cliff attempts, don't even <laughs> compare. Answer, when, let's go. <laughs> what? <laughs> he said, he said, what? Sin, he said he Jeff Dunham. Sinbad. He said Sinbad. He said Sinbad. 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 That is the win. Man. They will play the act for number one seed. The experts, 11 3 0. Baddies, UFC question. On the same night, Conor McGregor knocked out Jose Aldo at UFC. 194. This Luke American Rockhold. Final answer. What? Luke, Luke Rockhold. Rockhold. <laughs> it's 14 to 8. That's a fake name. He got knocked out by got Mike Perry. Yeah, he got last, last night. night. By Mike Perry. Baddies, baddies might have lost here, but the baddies don't miss a niche either, by the way. They are under Both teams combined now uh, 22 and 0 this season on each category questions. Uh, next category is geography. This is for the okay. experts. Uh, a, a Sunshan. Sunshan. That would be South America. That would be per, Paraguay. Paraguay. Uh, let me. It's not Uruguay because that's uh, Montevideo. I think it is so, Uruguay. Paraguay. It's Paraguay. Final answer. Final answer. Fifteen to eight. Other side. Amman is the capital of this Middle Eastern country that borders Saudi Arabia. Um. <laughs> I got two guesses, two countries that border Saudi Arabia. You have doubles Yemen. represented by Big Dubring. I wouldn't hate if we used Maybe, go ahead. Like, what one are you thinking? Let's double sip, sponsored by Big Deal Brewing, Jeff. Doesn't matter. I was thinking Yemen and Omen. Yemen, Yemen final Yemen. answer, Jeff. Ten what did seconds. you say? We said, said Yemen. Oh, I know. I've got another guess here. Is where these say. What is it? It doesn't matter. It's over. So, who do you think? Who do you think? Lebanon. No, that's not bordering Saudi Arabia, I don't think. Isn't it? I think it's like by Israel and shit. Uh, go Oman. Let's do Oman. Final answer, Jeff. I think it's Oman. Oman. It's not. So, Oman. is it Jordan? Uh, yeah, it could be Jordan. Michael. So there's Jordan. a couple other ones that. Five. Yeah, let's go Jordan. Jordan. Final answer. Sixteen nice. to eight. That's correct. NFL last category. This is for the experts. Michael Bush and like Marcel Reese for secondary rushing options. This get it wrong, lad, so we can get it right and still get 10 points. Hold on, hold on. Who did Michael Bush play for? He was from in Louisville. Uh, the Raiders. Let us get 10 points up. Correct. Um, the Raiders, final answer. That's not the question. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> they said final answer. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he's you right. He's right. I, you right. said final answer. That's he's just... right. He's oh, right. I think yeah. that's Gary I... McFadden. <laughs> Didn't read the whole question. <laughs> Sorry, we're not not reading the whole question. Um, Darren, yeah, McFadden. sure. Final answer, Jeff. <laughs> hey, you know, you know what? Get, that that make, yeah. get those mistakes out that now. That I'm just, yeah, yeah, I'm also just mixing words around in my head too because I was like, this is just asking for the team. Rashad Jennings and Deji Kareem were secondary rushing options. This 1,000 yard rusher from. Uh, I think Maurice Jones drew probably. I think it was the Jaguars. Maurice Jones drew. Final answer, Jeff. There's your 10 points, Patty. The Jaguars. Again, got away a little late. Obviously, bonus round was a massive impact there and the double. Yeah. And Honestly, it was bad. you absolutely yeah. sausage that day. You know, you fucking. But, but, but it, it didn't matter, right? We still would have lost by two points. Hey, it's, it's, look, you're going to go into the tournament. You're going to be in the tournament. Big week for Patty that you're week. Right, right. Patty be remote. You're going to have a top seed. You're going to have a top six. Like, what what date's that on again, Jeff? What date's it? 22nd, 23rd. Yeah, I'm getting married on the 28th, lad. So, yeah, we know. We know. But that's your, you you have the one excuse we're allowing. Yeah. You, you can rem- if, you, hey, if you want to fly in, go for it. But if you don't want to upset your, your marriage, you can, you can definitely know, call Laura. in. He's getting married, Brandon. Married. Laura, my own right to fly to New York for the day on the 22nd. My right to fly to New York for the day on the 22nd. What? Second, 22nd. No. 22nd, 22nd. No. She said 22nd. <laughs> no, she said no. Yeah, I say that louder. No. 
Good day, Adam. <laughs> hey, you know what? The oh, fact yeah. that you asked, it, like, what more? What more can we ask for? Like, I don't know what it is. You <laughs> Chicago, fly to Chicago on June eighth. Oh, uh, Batty season wraps. Batty hands down the best expansion team this year. Wasn't even close. Five two and zero. Oh. Uh, experts eleven three and zero. Oh. They will take on the Yak, and the winner will have a bye and the number one overall seed. Even though, even though they fucked it today, I'd be fucked without these two. Like, you know what I mean? Half of these questions, I don't. We're called the baddies, but like, without these two, we'd be nowhere near the top four. Pretty fucking solid. Pretty solid. <laughs> Dangerous team in the tournament. Experts eleven three and zero. Oh. You will play uh, May 16th in the championship of the regular season will air. The Yak against the Experts, followed immediately after by the selection special. Uh, on, that's it. Two matches next week, one more the week after that, and then we are off for a week as we film. Off for kind of a week and a half as we film the Dozen Trivia Tournament 3. That is it. Thanks for watching. Okay.